Hello everybody and welcome to Dream Team Tonic. For our listeners, Ben's just taking a moment here. Um, <laughs> at one point he looked like he was going to have a heart attack. Um, <clears throat> he's trying to compose himself as we speak. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25, quarter of a century for the Dream Team Tonic Lads. 25th of April, uh, there is a game ongoing, currently 2-1 to West Brom as we speak. Uh, with me as usual, two co-hosts. Ben, you there Ben? Yeah, how are you doing lads? <coughs> All good mate, are you there James? I'm here mate. Happy days. Um, good to have, have you both on. Uh, on this... Lovely Sunday evening, bit of sunshine, a uh, bit of sunshine today, a few beers. Uh, we'll jump straight in with your, your team, Ben, and how it's gone on this week. Obviously, you're uh, tracking down Lee Allett and Fergie <laughs> in the Dream Team Tonic League. How, how's it going on? Are we going to save on them postage costs, man? I've got 47 points so far. It's not too bad. Uh, clean sheets all around. Um, Mendy's got four it's Piliqueta and Rudiger they've all clean sheets so five points for us Piliqueta eight points for Rudiger and uh, Wambasaka got eight points today as well so that's good and then midfield's a bit quiet got Fernandez three points Mares three points Mount three points <laughs> De Bruyne got an assist for the, the goal today <laughs> And Harry Kane's back from injury, but got blanked. Didn't even have a shot on target. Uh, and Rashford blanked. And Salah got a goal yesterday, so steady week. Yeah. Decent. Still got one transfer Decent. left as Decent. well. So. Not too bad. You planning on using that before, or are you going to leave it until end? I'm uh, waiting for someone to get injured that I want to, uh, so I can get somebody else in. I don't <laughs> want to waste it, you know. Yeah, well, there were a couple of threats of injuries, weren't there, with yeah. De Bruyne and Kane? But obviously, both just giving an extra bit of extra time ready for a cup final. Yeah. So those fears have a I was tempted to do a couple of things this yeah. weekend, but I just thought I'll keep it just in case someone knacks up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably best. The best, especially because it's like, like nearly two weeks still until the transfer is it. So a lot can happen. Before yeah, exactly. End, aren't it? Especially with mid midweek games as well, European games. Up onto your uh, onto your team then, James. How's yours got on this week, mate? Well, bit of an upturn in upturn in form for Tony um, compared to the last couple of weeks. Um, Forty eight points, um, back to around eight hundred place. Back right, rise back up a hundred hundred places that I'd that I'd lost in the last week. Um, similar to Ben, I got some returns from. My defenders, um, Cancelo was a nice 13 point haul with a star man today. That's nice. Um, midfield, pretty quiet. Um, I've got three points from F- Fernandez, Foden, and Mount, and K- uh, KDB, five points because he got the assists. I think they're a bit sting- stingy with the assists in Dream Team. I think you should get some extra yeah. points, personally. Yeah, two points is not um, not enough. No. Um, most most games are a little bit more generous with assists. Um, and up front, I had a cu- I did have a couple of blanks with Greenwood and Kane, um, but Salah got me eight points, so not not bad. Um, you know, it was a pretty solid week. Um, yeah, risen back up the Dream Team Tonic League a bit, so that's good. Yeah, decent so far. I think that forty eight. It's decent decent score. Yeah. Yeah. We'll jump on to mine. Um, Mendy didn't go. Four points. Aspilicueta, five. Rudiger, eight. It was good to see all three of them start a game. Um, I, I don't think I've had that luxury for the last few weeks. But, yeah, all getting a clean sheet. Maguire, clean sheet, but only got four. Mm-hmm. Very, very similar. Quite a template midfield now, in it? Um, Fernandez, yeah. Mount, Foden, all with three. De Bruyne with his assist, getting five. Uh, and a full blank from my front line, Greenwood, Son and Kane. Son and Kane, I f- you could probably 
probably in single digits, the touches that they had between them. I think Cup final tonight, uh, not great. But it won them. I think the Son and Greenwood move from Yotta and Werner has paid its, paid its dues anyway the last, last week or so. So I'm not too fussed about that. Um, steady enough week. Looking forward to the midweek games to build on it. Hopefully, uh, there's a few more points in there for me. Mm. But yeah, as it goes. Left? Um, no transfers. Uh, the last two I used last week was the Son and Greenwood. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm saving. I meant to say I'm saving my last one because um, after the midweek, we should know who's going. We might have an idea of who's going to go through to the next to the finals of the uh, European competitions as well. So you've got a bit more information. Yeah. Wise move. Yeah. Use that extra transfer, bring in one of the uh, players with an extra game. Mm. Um, I have made a bit of headway in the uh, Dream Team Tonic League, though. So I've still, still not high enough to get covered on the uh, the readout. But, yeah, I'm 40, 46, behind, 46 points behind 10th now. Getting. And I did get team at week last year. <laughs> last year. Uh, last year, <laughs> last week. Last week. Yeah, last year, you know. Last week I got to team at week, so it'd be nice onwards and upwards. Um, it'd be nice if you could get your name read out before the end, end of the season, Tony. <laughs> it would, even if it's just 10. <laughs> well, one of us will have to read it, of course, so that you can do yeah. a big cheer. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But they'll know when Ben starts to read out or you start to read out the, the top 10, <laughs> they'll know, hold on, Tony's in there somewhere. Probably probably 10th. Won't be much higher than that. But, yeah. All good there. Right, let's uh, let's jump into some listeners' questions. Um, we uh, we had a quick uh, go over some best differentials. We got asked to to see um, what differentials we fancied from the next set of transfers towards the end of the season, just in each position. So we each had a a jot down of who we thought, and then now we're going to discuss them. So James, you want to? Name your keeper first. It doesn't matter if we've got the same players. Obviously, if we have, then that just probably cements how decent of an option they are. Yeah, I was looking at Smichael, but um, the uh, Leicester's got some really tough fixes near the end. I think I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal Ben's idea. I think because I know he's, um, he was talking about Allison, so <laughs> um, I won't take credit for that one, Ben. But um, I, I do think that's a good option. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely with them last four fixtures. Yeah, pretty sweet <clears throat> fixtures. Yeah, I've got Alison wrote down as well. I think um, Ben nailed it with that. I think from Ma- Friday 7th of May, having Southampton, West Brom, Burnley and Crystal Palace, you'd just hope, like, what is he, 3.6 million, 15% owned. You'd hope he gets a few clean sheets out of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, James. <laughs> well, I would hope so. We, we, we seem to be... Uh, conceding late goals at the moment. Um, the the yeah. team don't seem to be able to hang on, which is completely different to the season before, of course. Very annoying. Um, at this rate, don't know if we're going to get top top four. It's going to be a close one. Mm. It's definitely going to be close. Um, do you think it'll affect Liverpool too much? Do you, do you think you'll see the likes of Salah move on if you don't get top four? Um, well, it, Salah's actually doing is is the one forward that we have that's that's um, still banging in the goals really compared to the others. Mane's f- f- stats have fallen off a cliff, although he did get one last week. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I hope not, because he's still still a good good shout. I mean, he's still a good player. Um, did you see the goal he scored at the weekend? I mean, that was fantastic. Yeah. No, um, really good that's finish. It. At, you know, it was really only half chances. That swivel and turn and to bash it in was uh, was amazing. So I'm, I'm hoping he stays around. Hey, yeah. uh, Manny yeah. got a goal against his nemesis, Dallas, didn't he? They're taking one goal ahead of Dallas now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when I seen Manny had scored? That's the first thing I thought of. Well, that's because he got a bit of a bit of a slating on on the pod, <laughs> <laughs> comparing his goal stats to Dallas. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, fair play to him. But you'd like to think oh, he's a quality player, man. Here, 
really, really good, impressive from the last few seasons. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know where his form's gone. <laughs> He's dropped off end of the cliff, like you say. Right, go on, on to a defender. Who have you got then? I've got Aspiliqueta. He's in six point one percent of the teams overall. Um, he's playing so every long. game, isn't he? Playing, even playing yeah. wing back here at the weekend. Just getting him in the team somehow. He's looking really good as well. Yeah. What's it now? Eleven clean sheets and sixteen for Chelsea as well. So. It's not bad, is yeah. it? Go on, James. Who, who did you jot down? Uh, I've got down Trent Alexander Arnold. Yeah. He um, doesn't have as many fixtures, um, but they're running that that uh, last four four games after Man U are looking pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, he's um, he's probably been the most creative player in the last three or four games in terms of creating chances. Um, yeah. So I'll go for Trent. Yeah, I think it's a good shout with Trent. I think because you're removing the um, removing the the reliance of a clean sheet away from the defender, aren't you? Because his attacking returns, like you say, he, he plays like a winger. Mm. Yeah. So any assist or even a goal that he might muster up, you, you're thinking that a clean sheet is just a bonus for Trent. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's a great shout. He's probably still under owned after all the uh, troubles Liverpool have had. Yeah, I um I threw down Rudiger. I think probably for the same um same reasons Ben picked Hasbro Quetta. He's had his rest, he's 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 playing most games now. Uh I think he's settled into that back line and eleven clean sheets in sixteen. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think he's only uh two point two percent owned in the top one K. Uh fourteen percent overall. And still a decent option. So yeah, Rudiger. Who shouldn't really? I don't. I don't think the dip Chelsea backline should be differentials really. But I think they're still a little bit. Yeah, lot of people still on the city train at this moment. Yeah, and with the rotation, I know Chelsea have rotated yeah. a lot. But I mean, we could we could probably throw James in there. Who I think we spoke mm. of last week. Who um, we say even if he doesn't start, it doesn't matter. Because if Chelsea get in a clean sheet, he gets thrown on to shore it up. And I think he come on and got five points um, at the weekend. And Werner, who scored the goal, only yeah. got four points. And James were only on pitch for, yep. what, five minutes? Yep. So it just shows you the value of that. So James is a good option as well. And he's a good attack. He's a good attacking threat down the right-hand side. Really good. Uh, yeah, let's jump onto midfield then. Uh, who have you got, James? Who have you scribbled down, mate? Well, I've got Gareth Bell written down because basically he needs to get fit for the Euros, doesn't he? So, um, he's, as we all know, he's using Spurs as a gym. Um, so, I think he could be a good differential going forward. <laughs> he's not fallen out with the manager yet, you see. So, Not yet. <laughs> he's a forward, though, James. Is he? Oh, God, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Damn it, go to Ben and come back to me. Right, we're on it. Come on, Ben. <laughs> um, I love the reasoning, though, James. I love the reasoning. <laughs> my old mate, Mares. He's been playing really well lately, and he's he's um he's been starting all the major games. So he looks like he's nailed in that team now. Ten percent he's in. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say him. Yeah, and he he was like one of the best players on the pitch again today in the final. He was. He was, I'd agree with that. You're unlucky not to score. Yeah, he had times. one chalked off as well, didn't he? Off, offside. I did I miss that? Where I wrestled with the last minute or something. Or something. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're upstairs. But yeah, I say he had a couple of great efforts. Um, unlucky not to score. It's 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 quite lowly owned. I mean, again, it's probably trying to avoid the rotation, but I don't know whether you've got the stats down there, Ben. But he's been a bit of a pet favourite, hasn't he? Yeah. I think when you go back to probably last season and Sterling, we're probably the darling. I think we're uh, we're seeing Mares is is that new favourite now. I'm surprised that Sterling uh, Sterling but, started uh, tonight. Yeah, I was. I was surprised to see his name on sheet, but 
I mean, it could have been any score, couldn't it, for City today? Spurs yeah. were woeful. Didn't have much at ball. Um, do you need a little bit more time, James? No, I go through I'm, my um, You're right. I'm going to go for Hazard, Havertz, who is a midfielder playing as a striker. <laughs> um, <That's, that's, laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if if you're after a differential, he's playing up front for, for uh, yeah. Chelsea. He didn't play. Um, yesterday, but um, he has been he has been um, a favourite up front, and he's he's getting some good minutes from uh, T- Tuchel. So um, yeah, I'm going to go Havertz. He's um, he's well good, well priced, playing up front for Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Like you say, there is a rotation risk there, but there is amongst most of the uh, City and Chelsea assets at the minute. Uh, but he's a decent shout. He's looked good. He's looked good over the last three or four weeks when he has played. I, I've I've thrown down Lingard. Um, obviously, he didn't score this week, which was a bit of a surprise. But if we're <laughs> going to go from the um, the 7th of May when the transfers come in, uh, I think West Ham have got Everton, Brighton, West Brom and Southampton. Uh, just, yeah. I, think, I think he's very, very capable of uh, carrying on his goal-scoring form there against them four. 3.9 million. He's only in 8.8% of teams. So he's still a, a good differential, even with his great form. So, yeah, he's been someone to look out for, if, especially if you're chasing and you need to throw in someone different. If you've got to come away from the likes of Ford and Amares, and. Well, yeah. yeah. Is it, I is mean, it, the, is the, the thing is, you know he's going to play every game, don't you? And like we've yeah. discussed before, even if you. It's a, we should be looking at teams with the European fixtures, obviously, but. They're not going to play every game, so they yeah. only need to miss one or two, and you've got the same number of fixtures as Lingard, so certainly yeah. you should be trying to look outside the box. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, after the uh, I think we try and after, come. after the May transfers come in, every team has four games apart from the teams are in the finals. So Chelsea's yeah. got a possible mm. six six games if they get through to the final of the Champions League. The City's on five. And uh, if they get through, and uh, Leicester's on five, uh, Arsenal can get five as well, and United can get five. So there's not much difference now, is there? Yeah, there isn't. It's starting to na- narrow and uh, even itself. Up. Yeah. So, yeah, good option. What about um, what about you forward line, Ben? Yeah. Um. My my mate as well, Ian Acho. Lying at the moment, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. I think mate. that's 13 and 13 now. <laughs> it's good signs for next season, definitely. Well, uh, Man City's got a buyback clause in it, haven't they, though? If he carries on like this, Have yeah. They? That's the only thing. When does that run out? Do you know whether it, whether it runs out? I don't know. He signed a new contract the other week, though, so I don't know if that cancels that out. I don't think it does. Um, yeah, but I know they've got a buyback clause. I think they've got to pay the same amount of money they sold him to us for. We bought, paid about £30 million for him, so it's, that'll be a bargain nowadays for a goal scoring centre forward. Yeah, it would. And they're after a centre forward as yeah. well, City, aren't they? Well, <laughs> the buyback clause is £50 million, is though, so. Oh, right. Yeah. That's, that's even even in today's money. That's uh, still a lot of Wonga. Is he yeah. worth fifty million, Ben? Pardon? Is he worth fifty million? Yeah, City can pay fifty million for him if they want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I think you couldn't put that price in his head right now, could you? But if he goes into next season and carries like this on for another six months, eight months, then you start to think, well, yeah, he's probably in the fifty million bracket. Yeah, but. I think it's a bit of form and I don't, something about Ian Acho that he couldn't quite break his way mm. into the team. Is it because he never actually got a good run of games? He, or? Um, Pellegrini liked him and then when when Guardiola came in, yeah. he sold him straight away. I think it was probably his work rate, but he seems to have worked on it this season and uh, he's doing a lot of graft now. He's <clears> he, he nearly got a pass bonus and Sky at the week, uh, on uh, Thursday 
And that's what that's what wow. midfielders and defenders usually get the pass bonus, don't they? Sixty passes. I think he was yeah. up to like fifty passes. So he's like dropping into the number ten role and getting the ball and spraying it about. And he had a, he had eight shots or something. <laughs> yeah, that's so he's bad, like everywhere. Jesus. Wait, he's twenty four now, isn't he? So if he's going to do it as a top level professional, then um, you would you would think now. He's kicking in exactly the right yeah. time, isn't he? Yeah. Um, otherwise, he was just going to be that bit part player that could never dislodge Vardy. And you, you, you always think every season are they going to get rid of him? He's not playing that many games. Well, he's certainly. Um, then they're, they're not going to be getting rid of him now, are they? For sure, unless uh, somebody comes in with silly money. He's yeah. a top goal scorer in the uh, FA Cup as well since 2015. He's got 14 goals since 2015. Crazy. That's just like playing, yeah. just you know, like when you play a cup, you play your cup side, don't you? And he, he, he'd start instead of Vardy, he'd just score every game. Yeah, he's he's flying now. He like on the weekend, uh, sorry, the weekend just gone in the FA Cup semi final. When he he Vardy crossed it to him, he volleyed it. He was going well wide. He bounced off Festiga, came back to him. He just slotted it away. No, no one else would have got that look. <laughs> When you no. looks in, you looks in, innit? it? Mm. That is how it happens, innit? That is how it happens. Right. Well, who have you got who have you got jotted down, James? Have you gone same? Um no, I'm gonna say Lacazette because of um the fixtures, but I I'm I'm making an assumption that he's um not out injured for too long. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think it's his hamstring. Don't know what's going on there. Yeah, if he's, I mean, he was on fire, wasn't he before? Before he got that hamstring, and yeah. Arsenal got some re- relatively kind fixture run, including European yeah. games. So, and he's hardly anyone owns him. I think his ownership's next to nothing. Yeah, James. I think they're struggling as well. Arsenal, aren't they? We um, obviously Aubameyang mm. being out. Same time, yeah. Um, kind of. Perhaps they should put Leno up front. <laughs> well, he seems to score a few, doesn't he? <laughs> Stick Leno up front and buy a decent keeper. Like I don't know, uh, Emmy Martinez. Yeah, like yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? Like, yeah. <laughs> hey lads, maybe with um, them having them injuries, Saka's going to become a bit even more of an important player. He's only mm. true seven percent owned. He always looks really good, Saka, when yeah. I watch him play. <laughs> but just I've put him in a couple of times over the course of the season this year, and he's done nothing for me. Um, I think it's just one of them. Great on the eye, but I just he, I don't. He just never he never filled my team full of points, and I've just I've gone a completely block on Arsenal. I've tried. I've had a Bamiang, Saka, and then I even yeah. put Leno in dinner a couple of months ago. And it was just a disaster. Uh, it's gone downhill for Leno since then. <laughs> I know a couple of Arsenal fans, and they 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 rate Martinelli as the biggest prospect. The pro- the problem yeah. with him though is that he just yeah. can't stay fit. Yeah, and he might be one of those players. You always get these players, don't you? That just never uh, never seem to keep fit over a season, so they never get into that groove. Um, but if he can stay fit, then Martinelli, I'm told, is um. Is the one to watch. Yeah. Hey, about Leno, I bet the uh, Arsenal board's uh, regretting selling Martinez to Villa. Oh, yeah. It's been real this season. Got to be, aren't they? Probably keep it a season. Yeah. I mean, so Arsenal, I mean, in the summer, are probably going to be in the market for a keeper again, or they're going to put Matt Ryan in. Matt Ryan had the worst save statistics in the division, didn't he? Um, he I think he's only on loan, lads. Um, so they've got, and he got dropped. Yeah, oh, is he? <laughs> is he only on so, loan? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they, they need to tidy up that whole area then, because they've got Leno and not mm. much behind. So really, they need to be signing a new number one. You probably have Leno on the bench, but, but they had one and they let, they let him go. Yeah. Probably one of the best really? keepers in Premier League. Clearly, they didn't rate him. I, I think 
reading between the lines, I think he said, look, I've proven myself here. I want you to tell me that I'm number one. And they said, well, no, yeah. we're not going to do that. So he's next thing you know, he's out the door and mm. off to Villa. Yeah, a fair player to him. He's not happy to sit on the bench. It's good to see. I like that. Well, he's been he's been on the bench for ten years, Tony. So he's probably got so many splinters in his ass that uh, <laughs> he's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I've thrown on for the uh, record the differential Greenwood. Yeah. Um, United's fixtures and obviously his low ownership, cheap, two point five million. And he's been in a bit of form. I think we were just discussing before we come on there about um, Dan James being his only really challenger to his spot. And he didn't fill himself full of glory today. So I think Greenwood's pretty much nailed in their positions. Um, C- Cavani obviously started from the bench. Your differential, yeah. Ben. <laughs> Pogba sat on bench. So, yeah, I think Greenwood, Rashford is probably going to be pretty much cemented for for remainder. So he's a, he's a good option. Do you, do you know why Cavani didn't play the other, other night? He, he apparently has to be subbed, uh, to be a sub. He felt he, felt he wasn't re- ready for the oh, weekend. Oh. Yeah. That's, That's a strange one. But he still came on. And, I don't know. what still I don't came know. on and scored, didn't he? Did he come on the, on the pitch? Pardon? Oh, right. You mean yeah. the other night? Right. Not last... Right, not no, last no. Leeds. That's an interesting one. That I mean, is it is it uh, good good teamwork from him to say I'm yeah. not hundred percent. Don't put me on the pitch, or do you not just have a painkilling injection to get on with it? You soft arse. <laughs> I, I think a majority of players would just have that injection, don't they, and and mm-hmm. just crack on. Yeah. There was talk of getting earlier on in the season when he was he had this, he, came, he came into the side. He had, he had a good. Good run of two, three or four games, and Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was talking him up, saying, "Oh, his experience for the other guys is great." Um, and you know, I read that they were going to offer him a new contract and everything, but I, I believe he turned it down. So that's not a good sign either, is it? Obviously, he's not happy. He maybe he's not happy in Manchester, is he? His wife's probably having a having a word. Yeah, thank you. What are we doing here? It's always <laughs> raining. <laughs> it's glue. Go back to Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, all right, one second. Right, so uh, back on listeners' questions, we've got uh, Seymour Snatch has asked, "What do you lads have for dinner tonight?" <laughs> <What? laughs> Go on, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, even, oh, I had, a, I had a, a cheeseburger. Ah, cheeseburger. A cheeseburger? Yeah, cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Seymour Snatch. Where did that come from, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well. <laughs> It wasn't fish, was it? <laughs> what did you have, right. Tony? I had a kebab tonight. You done a kebab? <clears throat> no, I done a chicken kebab. All oh, right. I had a winner on horses, so I trek. I trek the uh, trek family to to a kebab. Takeaway. Yeah, lovely it was. Really good. Really good place <laughs> in Darwin. What about you, James? I um my my local pub allow allows you to order a roast dinner to, to be delivered. So I had I had um, roast beef in Yorkshire pudding delivered. It was great. Oh, happy days, mate. <laughs> yeah, there's no wrong with that, is there? No. All the treats of a Sunday Sunday roast without having to make it. Yeah. And all the washing up and all that that occurs after it. Yeah. Happy days, right? Connie Lingus has been on as well. <laughs> Who is the best differential for the remainder of the season? One name. (laughs) (laughs) Have we got a name, Ben? (laughs) Are you you there, mate? (laughs) You're right, Ben. You look like you're having a heart attack. (laughs) 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 Oh, dear. (laughs) Come on, Con- 
Connie Lingus is waiting for a, a response. <laughs> <laughs> for our listeners Ben's just taking a moment here um, at one point he looked like he was going to have a heart attack um, <clears throat> he's trying to compose himself as we speak <laughs> whose idea was <are> this? <laughs> I think we've covered the, uh, the, the best differentials Connie I don't, I don't think we need to go back over that. So, <coughs> yeah. Well, moving swiftly on. Um, we've got a message through. Uh, we've got Ash's team. I don't know if you're asking this for Fergie for the uh, Fergie special on the Monday evening. Or you're asking us, like, <coughs> there's no wrong with us throwing our 10 pens worth in, is he, lads? So, he's thrown his team up there. He's 47 points. They were 47 points behind first in his cash league. Um, have you got any advice? I'm guessing it's in the lead up to the May transfers, back end of obviously back end of the season, last four or five game weeks. What do you reckon, James? Well, the, the player that sticks out in um, Ash's team is um, Abamyang at the moment. Um, even when he wasn't stricken with malaria. Um, he was uh, <laughs> he was being played on on the left of uh, of a front three. Um, Lacazette was the better option. Um, apart from that, it's a pretty good side to be honest. Um, I think is Christian going to Christian? The question you, I'd be asking myself is is Christiansen going to keep his place? I think he's going to play a lot of games, but I think Rudiger's probably a little bit more nailed. But that's who knows. <clears throat> Two shell roulette, roulette and all that. Um, yeah. Jotas hasn't scored for four or five games now um, after having a hot run, but he has got a very good end to the finish to the season. So, I would, yeah. if you've not already got rid of him, um, I'm not sure now is the time to do that. I, I actually got rid of him myself for Greenwood this week. Um, <sighs> yeah, I mean, keep an eye on Jota, see how he goes. But he has he's getting a load of chances. He's just not putting them away now like he was um, when he came back from injury. Yeah, I think it was the same with you. I did the Yotta, yeah. Yotta out and Greenwood in. Um, more to do with fixture. Obviously, United having the extra fixture. Um, but yeah, it's not come back to harm me yet. But like you say, he's getting the chances and then fixtures are looking good. So if you're not tidying up already, leave him there. Abamyang being the... Yeah, the alarm bells are ringing with you, Abamyang. 47 point points behind the first in his cash league, though. Do, do, that's enough That's enough of a gap to be... You'd need, he needs to look at the, look at who, who his rivals have got, doesn't he, and make sure he's got someone different. Yeah, it'd be good to be able to see the opposition team on it yeah. and, and bounce it off that. I think I think we, we touched on this three or four pods ago about covering the big hitters. Obviously, De Bruyne and Fernandez, you've got them sat in your team. Maguire, Cancelo, he's probably there. Kane. So I think he's got the big hitters mostly covered. He just probably needs to tidy up some of them, um, some of the supporting party. Yeah. Um, Abamyang being first one. Well, yeah, Greenwood, Rashford, one of them, I'd, I'd Ian guess. Yeah. Ian Acho, yeah. It's a good option. It'd be interesting to see after this week um, which teams make the European finals to um, to suss who's got that extra fixture. What do you reckon, Ben? Yeah, exactly that. Are you are you all right now? Yeah, man? I'm all right now. <laughs> 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 Don't start me off again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Obama Yang definitely has got to go. Um, if he, if he hasn't got no transfers left and he's waiting for the transfers, um, Jota would have been on my list to go. But now, if he's waiting till the seventh, the next two games for yeah. Liverpool after that is Southampton, West Brom. So probably leave Jota in. Um, I don't know. You maybe get Salah in, double up, um, or you go four four two if you don't like the look of any of the strikers, and get another Chelsea yeah. man in, or even 
get Trent in because Trent's not very highly owned in Dream Team and he's scoring a lot of points at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, wise moves. Um, uh, I think, again, it just depends on... Obviously, you don't want to shadow him, shadow your opponent, so mm -hmm. you, we need to see the other team, really. Especially when you're chasing. Yeah. It's really difficult to chase in Dream Team. Yeah, I think definitely just go different to, Yeah, go different to the, uh, the guy at the top of the league, definitely. Yeah. Uh, very, very similar question from uh, Fergie's Apprentice. <clears throat> He's only 17 points behind, which... Isn't too much. There's not much in that. I went into the last four or five game weeks. Um, is there anything you do with his team? Go on, Ben, you first this time, mate. Yeah, it's very good. Um, Son and Kane have got a lovely fixture uh, after the transfers. Sorry, they've got before the transfer, they've got Sheffield United, so you should gain some points back for that, surely. Um, <clears throat> the midfield, I wouldn't touch. I think I'd leave it like that. And Kavak's got a nice couple of games after the transfers. Um, there's pretty much, I'd leave it for the next week till game week 33 and look at it again. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Go on, Jim. Yeah, I think, um, well, I think, yeah, we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to cover the new transfers coming out in detail next week. Um, we'll we'll have a bit more of an idea who's gone from Europe at that point. Yeah, so uh, I think that's the time to start the detailed planning. Yeah, everybody. That, that's a good team. Yeah, everybody in game week thirty two have got a double game week anyway. Uh, the Premier League's got a double game week, so everyone will will play twice. So Spurs have got decent fixtures. They've got Leeds and Wolves straight after Sheffield United. So it's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's no. You don't have to jump off anybody dead quick there. Yeah, definitely. Like Son and Kane, obviously, mm -hmm. bit of a disappointment tonight. Yeah, against City, but yeah, no rush to get them out. But given the fixtures, uh, and it'd be something that we monitor more a bit, bit next week. Obviously, we know the first leg scores from this week. Um, we'll have a, a, a much better idea of <laughs> of what's going to be occurring. Back end of the uh, the fixture list. So yeah, that's that. Obviously, um, we got the we got the Fergie um, Fergie special tomorrow. If he do get chance, we might pick his brains on them two teams. See if he suggests anything different uh, for you guys. Right, let's jump across. Let's go to the uh, Dream Team Tonic Mini League Top Ten, which I still ain't involved in, but <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too long now, only a 46-point gap. So they're in 10th. We've got Wiggy's Wanderers, Sam Winall. In 9th, Tom Brindley with leg end 2. Joint 7th, Peter Brown and Mick Byron with Hordor FC and Trent Enders. In joint 5th, we've got Dodgy's sister Athletic, James Fricker. Get in, come on. There he is. He's joint 5th with Wayne Herbert and the Villains. Um, in 4th, we've got Dream Team Professor Scott Harris. In third, Ben's DT Tonic 11, Ben Lee. Come on! He's, he's took another seven points out of Fergie. He's took one point out of Lee Allett. In second, we got Fergie time, Andrew Ferguson. And back at the top, Lee Allett, the smoking guns. Mm -hmm. So Dream Team Dream Team professors jumped from eighth to fourth. Scott yeah. Harris. Yeah, that's right. Jumped, jumped ahead of everybody. He was behind me, and we we had a little, we had some banter on Twitter about it. So I'm just saying, well done, but I'm 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 still aiming to catch you. <laughs> it's going for you. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah, fair play. It's it's very tight there at the mid table, isn't it? It's in between that top ten. Um, ben, are you going to be able to uh, hunt them down quick enough? Are you going to have? Are you going to run out of time? Do you think? There's still plenty of time, mate. <laughs> what yeah. six six game weeks left? What is it? Forty six points. Can you do it? Yeah, gotta be confident, yeah. Got to, mate. Got to <laughs> belief. <clears throat> right, so that's the top ten. We'll um, jump across to the ownership. Um, first up, you Ben with the top one k ownership. 
Right, uh, Bruno Fernandes still top of the tree, ninety eight point five percent in the top one k. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne ninety two percent. Harry Kane seventy nine point nine percent. I think that's dropped a bit, hasn't it? Um, yeah. Mo Salah sixty six percent. Ruben Diaz sixty six percent. Jao Cancelo. 56% man of the match tonight for City. Back in the good books. Mm. Uh, Marcus Rashford, 54%. Harry Maguire, 49.4%. Mason Mount, your son, 48.6%. And Edward Mendy makes me, lad. the top half of the list, 468 He's jumped right up, hasn't he? Yeah, I've noticed um, he's yes. above Ed- Edison now, isn't he? Yeah. Edison's on 43%. Yeah. Anybody in there that surprise yeah. you? Not too many surprises on there. Well, I was just going to say, not too many no. surprises, is he, on there? Had a good gander through it. Um, Reese James has snuck up onto that <laughs> bottom of that list. Uh, yeah. Like I say, a good option for coming off the bench. 15 points. surprises you, James? No, no. Like I said, the only thing I spotted really was um, the fact that um, Mendy's jumped above Edison, which is interesting. Mm. Which is, if you if you're following following things, the Chelsea clean sheets side, it's not a big surprise. City have dropped off a bit, haven't they recently? Yeah, I, I suppose a slight Stone's surprise is Stuart. No, I wouldn't have took long for him to come off after that red card, would it? Um, <laughs> Sterling's on that list. <clears throat> about Sterling yeah. that's a surprise 16.9% I'm yeah, done they'll with be kicking now. themselves <laughs> definitely definitely we will jump across to the most transferred in for the week which is me I'm going to go through that uh, top of the list no surprise I think a lot of the, the top five of these Forden uh, nearly 7,000 transfers in. Ian Acho, 6,300 transfers in. Lingard, 4,400 transfers in. There's a theme. These are the most informed players, I, I think, from the last couple of weeks. Um, all been on the score sheet. Ford and probably frustrating another 7,000 people because he'll probably be benched next week. Um, you got Greenwood. On there, 3,700 mm-hmm. wise moves, I think, for that. J- James, Reese James. Obviously, that's what's bumped him right up on the top one, KO on the ship. 3,000 transfers in. Maguire's there, 3,000. <clears> Your mate, James, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Yeah. 2,500 transfers in. Sensible moves, especially, like say, with Liverpool's fixtures coming up towards the end of the season. Uh, Pogba's on there. Nearly 2,000 transfers in. Frustration when he gets benched. Uh, Madison. Rested, rested. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Madison Vardy on there. Um, yeah. Any surprises there for you, Ben? Laporte. Laporte, the goal scoring defender tonight. Um surprised yeah. he's on there. Um, I suppose, we like you say, Stones is suspended for the. Has he got a red, got a red card, didn't he, the other week? Hmm. So, it must be all those Stones um, owners get just doing a switch, straight switch to Laporte, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And then looking completely justified when he scores the winner today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a lovely move for him. Yeah. Manny's, on, Manny's on there as well. <clears throat> is that is that after his goal last week, isn't it? Must be, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, he's a quality player. so it's chasing it's four... points, isn't it? It is. It is a little bit. I mean, but then do you, do you think he's scored once and now is he going to go on a bit of a run? Trying to jump on a train early, in it? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it pays off. The majority of the time, when you chase points like that, it, it doesn't come off. Vardy got a goal uh, but, on Thursday as well, didn't he? After being up blanking for so long. Yeah. <clears throat> nice like set Vardy and Mane. Nice set of two players that. Now. Yeah. Two players that have underachieved, aren't they, this season? Yeah. In a mm-hmm. in dream team. 
dream team uh, circumstances anyway. We'll jump across to the uh, most transferred out, James. We'll go through that, mate. Yeah, um, there's a few shocks on this one. Um, but I'll, I'll start with the top, um, which is John Stones, which is not a surprise. Uh, yeah. Nearly 14,000 got rid of him after his red card last week. And then the next two are a bit um, perplexing. You've got uh, <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne with 7,500 people getting rid of him. They obviously thought he was out for a while, but he's yeah. played today. Um, played about 85 minutes, I think, from uh, from memory. Um, yeah. And you've also got Harry Kane on there as well, because obviously they thought he was out as well. So um, <clears throat> I think that goes to show, you know, especially this stage of the season with the with those big hitters, those they'll probably be wanting to bring burn transfers to bring those guys back in next week. So you've got yeah. a, a few. I, I I've got both of those players, and there was no way that they were leaving my side unless I got the news that they were out for some time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's um. Big surprise there. People jump in the gun, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so in fourth place, we've got uh, Gundogan. Yeah, he's um, he's his form seems to have dropped, fallen off a cliff. He had a couple of chances today that he would have put away uh, four or five games ago, but mm-hmm. he's just not going through it at the moment. He's still getting a few chances. <clears throat> Interestingly, um, Sterling is on the most transferred out and the most transferred in, I see. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, People doing the Sterling hokey-cokey. So, yeah, 3,000 people got rid of him. Um, Grealish seems to be on here every week. Um, People are still getting rid of Grealish. (laughs) Um, I guess they've they've been holding on, haven't they? Because Dean Smith's been saying, oh, yeah, he might be back next week. But uh, yeah. He's um he's still not back in the side. So yeah, that's the that's the top ones. Um, any surprises on there for you guys? Go on, Ben. Mm, not really. Well, Mendy, Mendy's on there. Uh, <clears throat> nearly two thousand transferred him out. Probably that's because he got he got uh, rotated, didn't he, last weekend? Yeah. 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 But luckily, again, it's jumping the gun. Yeah, he came, he came out, didn't he? The manager and said, "Oh, Mendy will be playing this weekend." So, yeah, yeah. jump, jump the gun there, didn't they? Uh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> like I say, with the De Bruyne and Kane ones, waiting for that injury news, just, you've got to give them a chance. I, I think it it smelt like they were just going to rest them for the uh, or get them ready for the cup final, didn't it? When they both had a bit of a a bit of an injury scare. Mm. 630 odd people are going to be ruined getting rid of uh, Cancelo though, eh? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I say Starman. Starman, clean sheet. Good return. Good return for um, Cancelo. Surprised to see Aguero still getting getting sold. I I thought everybody would have sold him by now. (laughs) Yeah, it's who's waking up there. It's like they've woke up late, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, well. Where's he going to be next year then? Any any news or anything? I, I've Chelsea, heard Barcelona it? was the latest one. Yeah. I oh yeah, know. I've heard that as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Chelsea were the first rumored, and then and then at the last I heard was Barcelona. I mean, sure, he's still good. is he good enough to do it in Europe? Chelsea love an aging striker, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was the last one? Uh, it's gone. Is Iguain? Yeah, he was bad. Iguain. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was bad. They had um, the one that went to United as well, the Colombian one. Falcao. Falcao. Oh, Falcao. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He were. He were. He were brilliant on continent. Falcao. Mm-hmm. But Shev, 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 Shevchenko as well. Don't forget. He went to Chelsea, didn't he? It's like a striker's graveyard, that place. Isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Torres. Torres. <laughs> How to ruin a striker's career. One move, go to Chelsea. Yeah. But then, to well, be fair, though, they've had the likes of Drogba, Costa. And they, they, they're brilliant for Chelsea. They've, but, had, yeah. they've had more flops, haven't they? Look, look at uh, Crespo. Fernando Torres. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, coming from he was an absolute world beater at Liverpool. Yeah, being a Rovers fan as well, he used to put us to the sword every year. Mm. It was frustrating. And then he goes to Chelsea, and he just he couldn't hit a bar and door, could he? No, he didn't so have Gerard far in the bullets, did he? Hey, must have been, must yeah. have been. He did seem to have lost a couple of yards of pace when he went to Chelsea, but yeah, he just, <clears> he just wasn't. Yeah, definitely not the same player. Shevchenko is a great, a great shout as well. Um, Crespo, did you just say Crespo yeah. then? Hernan Crespo, one of Europe's like leading lights. Do you yeah. remember Mat- Matty Kesman? He was at P- yeah. from PSV. He was good at PSV and then he came to Chelsea. Didn't yeah. he? Don't forget Me. Adrian, you too. Um, yeah. He, he drove him to drugs. He drove himself mad, didn't he, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Got banned yeah, from they... football, didn't he? For, uh, yeah, he did for a few entities. years, yeah. Yeah, it is a bit of a graveyard, isn't it? But... Anyway, well, the differential league will be updated after the European games. Uh, so far, it's zero, zero, zero. Um, ben, Ben's got a nice, healthy lead in that at the minute. Uh, community in second with James, and Tony's bringing up the rear. <laughs> so really, I should get first pick next week, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see how it lies. Um, so we'll update that on Twitter once the game week's finished after the European games. Um, again on tomorrow night we've got Fergie on currently number one in the dream team uh, he's going to come on for a chat we've got a, quite a few questions to put to him we've got a few of your listeners listeners questions that we're going to going to get answered by him let you pick his brains um, on how he's sat at the top of the league uh, so yeah make sure you listen to that if you've not listened to it if you're listening, currently listening to this Find it on our YouTube channel. It'll be on there, the Fergie special. Um, if you've not got across to the website and read the blogs um, in FPL, Sky and Dream Team, as well as Fan Team, get across there. James and Ben, two co-hosts here, do an excellent job with their their blogs. Well worth a read. Help you out throughout the season. Um, Reem, Louie and Max do an FPL blog if you do play that format. Reese, Lee and Steve do their Sky Fantasy Football if you play that game, and Mike does a fan team, which I doubt you know the FPL as well. Uh, he does some great stuff. Um, it's been great to have you. Um, another week done, getting towards the business end in your cash leagues and your mini leagues. Um, yeah, I think we've got everything covered. Big week next week. Obviously, we'll be covering a lot more of the, the transfers and the fixtures going, going towards the back end of the season. We'll try and dig out a few gems to try and boost your chances of winning your cash leagues or or whatever it might be that you're going for. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Subscribe if you can. Drop a comment. Uh, give us a like. Give us a retweet on Twitter. Whatever you can. It all helps. And, yeah, thanks for listening. Cheers, James. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, Cheers Tony. Cheers. Have a good evening. <laughs> <laughs>